In this video, you'll learn about how Test Data Engineers, or TDEs, use the CATDM portal to create test data models that facilitate the data reservation process for testers. Before you start the test data model creation process demonstrated in this video, ensure that you've already created a CATDM portal project and version, you have also created a connection profile and shared it with the tester, and finally, you have registered the required entities in the CATDM portal. This diagram helps you understand the overall flow, tasks that a TDE performs to create and enable a test data model. The first step in this process is to create an environment. An environment is a collection of data sources that are associated with an application. In the second step, you specify the test data model name and description. A test data model combines related data elements from multiple data sources, which reside on different servers, into a single container. In the next step, you select the environment that you've created. Then, you define the model key. A model key is a data element, or a set of data elements, that uniquely identify the resource that needs to be reserved. After specifying the model key, you add other required data elements to the test data model. A data element provides the ability to testers to filter the test data. You now save the test data model. The test data model is created. Finally, you enable the test data model so that it becomes available to testers. Testers can access this form from the self-service catalog section in the portal. Note that the scope of this video is applicable only to the test data model creation, which is done by a TDE. For more information about how a tester uses the form to find and reserve the test data, see the separate video about Find and Reserve. In this video, John, who is a TDE, is responsible for creating a test data model for an order management application. The data for the order management application is spread across multiple tables in the Microsoft SQL Server database. The application uses three environments, staging, UAT, and pre-production. Each environment includes a separate instance of the Microsoft SQL Server database with different data in each instance. John aggregates the required data elements from the database into the orders test data model. John also ensures that he includes and exposes the required data elements which are relevant to the business requirement of the tester Joe in the test data model. Joe can then use the exposed fields to specify the data criteria, find the relevant test data, and reserve it. The scenario in this video uses the Northwind sample database that is available for Microsoft SQL Server. John has logged into the CATDM portal using his credentials. This is the project orders and version 1.0 that he has already created as part of the prerequisites. And orders underscore connect is the connection profile, which he's already created and shared with the tester group of the project. Joe, who is a tester, is a part of this tester group. John has also registered the entities. These are the same entities that are available in the Northwind sample database. These registered entities are used during the test data model creation. To create an environment, John expands modeling and clicks Environments. He clicks the New Environment button, specifies the environment name, Staging, and Description. This is a staging environment. He then clicks the Add Data Source button, enters the data source name, Orders underscore DS, selects the Created Connection Profile, Orders underscore Connect, and clicks Save. The success message indicates that John has successfully created the staging environment. John follows the same process to create the other two environments, UAT and pre-production. Now John must start with the test data model creation process by following the steps in the wizard. He again expands modeling and clicks Test Data Models. He clicks the new Test Data Model button, provides the name, orders, and description. This test data model is for the order management application, and clicks Next. He selects the staging environment, which he's already created, and clicks Next. John is now ready to select the model key for the test data model. He expands the orders entity, selects the order ID data element, and clicks the forward arrow to move it to the right pane. He specifies the logical name for the associated entity, orders, 
selects the related data source, orders underscore DS, and clicks Next. Now he specifies a display name for the order ID data element. He also verifies that the display in tester self-service option is checked. Finally, he clicks Save. The order ID data element is now defined as a model key for this test data model, and the order's entity becomes the root entity of this test data model. John now adds other data elements to the test data model that he wants to display to the testers. He clicks the Next button to proceed to the Data Element Addition page. He expands orders, selects the Ship City data element, clicks the forward arrow, enters the name, verifies that the Display to Tester checkbox is selected, and clicks Save. Ship City is added to the test data model. Following the same process, he adds two other data elements, Ship Postal Code and Ship Region, from the Orders entity. He also wants to add Quantity and Discount from the Order Details entity. He clicks the arrow to move Quantity to the right pane. Because Order Details is not related to the root entity, Orders, John first provides information to establish the association between the root entity, Orders, and Order Details. After providing the name and data source information, he selects orders from the association from list and one underscore many as association type. He then selects the join fields that help establish the relationship between the two entities, orders and order details. In this case, order ID, which is present in both the entities, acts as the join field. John then clicks Next, provides the required information, and adds the data element, along with its entity, to the test model. Similarly, he adds the discount data element from the Order Details entity. Finally, he adds the Unit Price data element from the Products entity to the test data model by following the same procedure. John is now done with the test data model creation. He clicks the Finish button to complete the process. The success message indicates that the test data model is created without any issue. John verifies that the test data model is now listed in the test data model page. To ensure that the appropriate testers, for example Joe, can use the test data model to find, view, and reserve the test data, John must toggle this display option to Yes. The Orders Test Data Model is now available to the required testers as a form in the Self-Service Catalog section. In this video, you learned how a TDE can create a test data model and make it available as a self-service form to testers.